Let's let's just dismantle wokeness for for a bit. And I've never tried his coffee, but but I would like to try it. It's a type of content now that gets views. Just saying white people bad, and suddenly people are praised for this. It's not exactly brave. In fact, it's hateful. Make sure you leave a like on this video and you subscribe so you can keep bringing these folks to light. So obviously, it's not the actual skin tone when we're talking about whiteness. Hey, see, it's white, not white. You sound like a child afraid to say a word. It's the white entitlement, white privileges, white microaggressions that white people indulge in because we live in a white supremacist society. where whiteness is seen as the standard and catered to in everything that exists in Hollywood, in government, in schools, And people will be like, you can't just base it off of that one racist person. When you're a person of color, it's never that one racist white person you encountered. The white superiority complex isn't everything you touch. What about, what about, what about Asian racist? You see, you're proof that, that minorities can be racist too. My name's Accordion, and if you enjoyed this, leave a like on it, and subscribe or follow for more. This is just- Yeah, you always hear them say, um, you always hear them talk about, um, about white guilt. Well, white man's original sin, I guess. Give you just a long look. And here's Morgan Freeman on 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 the subject of race. Of black area here, black white area there. We gotta walk across there. Black History Month, you find ridiculous. Why? You're gonna relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What? Which month is White History Month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And stop so talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. The whole thing, especially the president and Democrats now are talking about income inequality, and that's basically what, you know, when you talk about the richest 85 people on the planet, right? Yeah. It's income inequality.
Do you think that's looking at you know what's happening in the news now? Is that a good idea? Do it's you a great idea. It is the greatest idea. Uh, we have a much more vibrant society when we don't have such a vast chasm between the haves and the have-nots. We need uh, that middle ground that we call the middle class, the people who buy everything, people who use the uh, products that the rich are creating, if they're creating anything other than wealth, right? right. So it's, it's what's happening with the Chinese economy right now. They're changing their whole outlook because they need consumers. Yeah. And without a middle class, you're not going to have consumers. You're not going to have it at the level that we normally would have it. So can, we, can I go back to you? Because I, I, I thought what you said was fascinating because you called it bull when you said people can't you know, pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably getting me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to, I want to just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. That's not a, that's not a practical system. That's not a practical system. Generally speaking, there's three kind of big buckets of reasons why someone might engage in intentional weight loss. First is desirability, second, health, third, stigma. But at the end of the day, all of those are rooted in fat phobia in different ways. And I'll, I'll explain. Oh, yeah. So, so being healthy and so being healthy and and fit. And being able to actually move, be able to move around means that 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 you're giving in a fat phobia. Sure. Yeah. Right. Sure. First, desirability. That is kind of the most obvious when it comes to fat phobia. We currently live in a society that uplifts thinness, able-bodiedness, whiteness, cisness, and heterosexuality as the things that are most desirable. And so if you are wanting to lose weight... So, we're going to back, back that up. So... So what? Sh so um. So the perpetuation of the species, um. So the perpetuation of the species is bad. And so, if you are wanting to lose weight in order to become more desirable, you are upholding a fat phobic beauty standard, as well as you know white supremacy and all that jazz. So next. So me wanting to lose weight or me wanting to maintain my, my weight loss, like not maintain my weight loss, but maintain my weight, makes me, uh, means that I'm giving in to white supremacy. Press X to doubt. Is health. What we know is white supremacy and all that jazz. So next is health. What we know is that weight is not a good indicator of someone's health, and also your health is not an indicator of your worth. Right, right. You know, you know, you can be you can be thin, and and have diabetes. You know, you know, it's really a matter of what you eat. And it's a matter of what you eat and how often you eat what you eat. And it's about really balancing all that that you're eating. 
You can have health and body related goals for yourself that are not about fat phobia and not about weight loss. So let me give you an example. You might decide that you have a goal of hiking a particular mountain in your area. Now you would be engaging in different types of movement in order to achieve that goal. You may or may not lose weight in doing that. And in fact, there's lots of fat mountaineers and hikers. I don't know about that, but I would say there's probably a majority of those people who probably do that all the time are probably thin. Third bucket reason is that you might be facing extreme fat phobia and anti-fat bias in your own life and you have personally mentally hit a wall where you can't deal with it anymore and so you decide to intentionally lose weight. That is actually the case with Roxanne Gay, who is very tall. They are like six foot or six one and prior to their weight loss surgery, they would have been categorized as a super fat. So being a super fat and being that tall comes with a particular type of physical accessibility challenge as well as anti-fatness and so for that so so wanting to have more 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 maneuverability and more accessibility means that that it's fat phobic that is, is fat phobia oh f yeah yeah right sure whatever reason Roxanne Gay elected to have weight loss surgery. But it's really important that if you still go through gay elective challenge as well as anti-fatness and so for that reason Roxanne Gay elected to have weight loss surgery. But it's really important that if you still go through with intentional weight loss that you don't sacrifice fat liberation politics because otherwise it's still just fat phobia even if you're doing it for your mental health and accessibility. So why then do it in the first place? Why 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 better yourself if it's if it's giving into um if it's giving into bigotry? What's what's the bloody point? And so I I thought about showing off. Yeah, even though I'm not a big fan of Gnosticism, like Gnosticism has a lot of um has a lot of like major a holes in the philosophy. Um, I still I, I like this meme. It's pretty based. It's based, man. Like modern Gnostics, we should focus less on archons and human suffering, more on political activism on the beauty of Earth. And so Sophia is like meh. That's not, that has nothing to do with wisdom. As King Solomon once said, get wisdom and understanding. And by the way, Sophia, I believe is the Greek word for um, wisdom, is, is a Greek name that means wisdom. There's a philosophy called Sophia Perennis named Called or perennial wisdom. Look it up. Uh. Oh, oh, he does he bite? No, but but he can hurt you in other ways. You think yourself woke? You think yourself? You think yourself? You think yourself, you think yourself woke. But you have, but have only transitioned from one deep state of, delu of delusion, which the, which, which the word, um, in India, in the Indian, the Sanskrit word for delusion is uh, avidya. Same word also means ignorance. I mean, think about that one. Think, think about how does ignorance make me delusional? 
just think about that one. So, you think yourself woke, but you have only transitioned from one deep state of delusion to another. I mean, that's also mostly talk about truthers and whatnot. See, this is what you really should care less on on this kind of crap, more on this kind of crap. More on like spiritual matters, matters of the of the soul, matters of the spirit, matters of the mind. Things like things like Things like the Bhagavad Gita. They read things like this. Focus on things like this rather like this. Focus on things of that of this of that nature, and also things of the mind and things that, that have to do with learning about how the mind works. Less, if not if not hardly on anything having to do with um, with um, activism and wokeness. And all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I really do not get the logic. I really do not get the logic here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, peace out everyone.